Hey you guys, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Minecraft server. So it's pretty easy. Go ahead and just go to Google Bucket. Uh, just Google Bucket and you'll go up to the website and then uh, download the recommended build. Just press on this little craft bucket uh, snapshot jar file thing. Here you go. And then just uh, download it. And trust me, it's not harmful to your computer even though it says that. But um, once you've downloaded it, just uh, have it on your desktop right here. And then right click and then make a new text uh, folder. And then name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Minecraft Server. And this is where, gonna, where your server is going to be in. Drag it and drop it in there. Open it up. Right click. Press new and uh, make a text document file. And then you can name it whatever. You really don't need to name it. Open it up. And I'm going to give you this copy and paste what I have in the description bar. And if you're using a 64-bit, um, uh, I will include it and it will be on the bottom. This is for Windows only, so just letting you know. And we're going to save it as... And we're going to save it as a, we're going to put starter, because it's, or whatever you want to name it as. Just make sure that you know this is going to start your server. And save it as .bat. If you're on Windows 7, I believe you're going to need to uh, check your properties. And you're going to have to check off to make sure that the extensions are being shown. And save it as a .bat, which is a batch file. So save it, close it, and it'll look like this. Batch file, delete the other one. You don't need that anymore. And then go ahead and start it. And then this is going to pop up, your CMD and uh, it should start spawning everything and once this is done we're going to return to this okay now that it's uh, totally done you'll say done here and it says for help whatever whatever just go to minimize it do not close that because that is your actual server that's running and now uh, we can go to the server properties and you can open it and you'll just select the program from a list and it'll pop up this other window here and uh, don't don't check this off just keep it unchecked open it with notepad if you want to you can use other uh, other kinds of uh, programs to open it but uh, the point is here it is. Um, it'll, you can allow the nether to be true. Uh, how much you want your if you want spawn if you want monsters to be spawning if it's online mode, and if you want animals to spawn the amount of players you can change it to ten or whatever. And then you don't need to put anything for server IP, but like PVP you can put false if you don't want people killing you. And so I'm just gonna save the stuff and then I'll be good. And this is other stuff like this is your world. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna rearrange this real quick. This is your world. And your plugins go here, bland players, ops, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Now in order to actually get this working here, I'm going to need to show you how to port forward your um, 25565, which I'll show right now. And also you're going to need two types of uh, IP addresses, which I'll show you how to get. So let's move on to that next step. This is a quick reminder also that once you have the server, you can actually close it for now. Just press type in stop, enter, it'll say that it's stopping the server, saving chunks, and press enter or any key to continue. And now let's move on to the next part.